Hey guys, is... welcome to the podcast. We're here today with um my elbow, Edwin. No, this is the end. What are you doing? This is the end card. Uh, <laughs> this isn't the end card. Damn this it. is the new first one. This is the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. I was right. Oh, you were right. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, Edwin was doing that shit where he just lies. No, you jackass. <laughs> Hey guys, if you like the podcast, make sure to check out our other podcast episodes we've recorded in the past. And make sure to check out our other content. We're always uploading new stuff. Probably. Check this out for our it's Twitter. It's like Eric was <laughs> 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 Make sure to check the description for our Patreon, Twitter, and I don't whatever. Why do whatever you open up social... with Patreon? What are you I talking don't know. about? <laughs> Stop. You open up with Twitter <laughs> and then maybe Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, guys. If you like our content, check out our Twitter in the description. I'm gonna put this at the end. <laughs> this is the end. What are you talking this about? Is the end. This is the end. This is the end. <laughs> Damn, I'm done. Next podcast. Okay. <laughs> Next podcast. <laughs> Like someone's gonna look at the fucking uh, video and be like, "Did I just repeat it? What the fuck is going on in this episode?" <laughs> yeah. Um, Limit two per customer. Why would I want to buy two 1060s? Could I even like utilize them both? Yes. Yeah. I was gonna say PCI. is that thing that people do where they buy them I mean, and then sell them S- when they're not on sale for money? SLI, dude. SLI, thanks, what buddy. What does that fucking mean? It means that uh, you combine the power of two. Snakes that actually means slightly larger Linger. intel. Did I say yes? Will you actually believe me? Yes. No. Yes. What did What no. did you say? What did you say? What? He, he said if he said yes. Oh. Uh, and then like, if he I don't believe anything Edwin says anymore. Yes, exactly. Yeah, as long as if you were Xavier, I would have believed it was that. Why? He lies just as much as I. He lies. Yeah, he lies just as hard. <laughs> See, but I always believe like, him. We always call out Xavier when it ever happens, but with Edwin, we just laugh, and then we always forget the fact that he's just just as often. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't know how to tell when either of you guys are like joking so about it. I mean, I, all right. So the, the, the like, rule. <laughs> I can tell now with Xavier because he does it a lot. Yeah, he's done it too I still often. can't tell with Edwin because he's like... able to keep the straight face <laughs> and not change his voice or tone like at all. <laughs> like he'll play it completely serious until like you start to pick up on it and then he'll laugh. I, I mean, like that. the few times that I, uh, <laughs> the few times that I've been with Edwin and he does it, I'm like, I just stare at him <laughs> until like he breaks. I mean, yeah, <laughs> so he sometimes does break. I'm like, fuck you. But that's how you react to everything, Zargy. It's funny. Um, it's funny that you get like some people are tra- like taking their shirts I'm like you get the fucking idiots please stop <laughs> <laughs> I mean alright the big bigger question is Kelsey do you finally understand me when I'm like being sarcastic yeah okay that's good that's all the time that's why sure well right like there, 90% bam. sure bam <laughs> let's see <laughs> 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 this is a weird snipe you guys want this burger? Didn't even do the intro anything. We we didn't, yeah, I'm so trying to do the going. intro. You yeah, told me not to. Damn, Kelsey, do the intro. What are you waiting Kelsey, for? Kelsey, go to for the yeah. fucking intro then. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh my God. Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. Today, we have some people here, including me, your host, Kelpie, and um, my elbow here. Hey, Edwin. Hey, what's up? How's it going? We also have. Who's always here in the podcast because he has no life? Um, Jacob, Sunny Lion. I mean, it's true, but you shouldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have Zarky here. Learning the walk again. <laughs> no, I just know, you can't do it as good as Edwin, dude. I know, because it's an Edwin thing. I'm just doing it because yeah. I was like, ha. Ah. Okay. That shit's. Ooh, so glad we got that song. So glad it's in Rock Band. So glad we spent money on the fucking fifty dollars on Rock Band. Hey, this is well, it's well spent money because we were all singing our hearts out. And Jacob paid in Sleepwalk currency. Wait, I forgot <laughs> I even did that. I, yeah, I was actually gonna ask you. Was like, you came with me talking about that real quick. We can't I, make it so obvious that we're recording these back to back. Okay, it's fun. We're not. You're, you're, you just all right. Cut her out. <laughs> cut her out no, there. Don't worry. No, no, no. Anyway, I actually have been sleeping like a lot. 
I've had like this really shitty streak of nightmares for the past like three weeks. Like mm. since the hangout, it just hasn't stopped. And a little bit before that we too, him. where I was <laughs> like, man, I really can't wait for this hangout to happen. Cause usually when I, we have a hangout and I spend the night nothing happens and I can sleep like a regular human. Yeah. But like, I mean, you weren't sleeping no, like a regular human. I wasn't human allowed sleeper. to this time. <laughs> Not anymore. I think you got comfortable enough. And it's just been like really shitty because I can't sleep. So I'm just like always tired. Oh man, Jacob like, like I was ready for bed. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. And then like, (laughs) because I I turned off everything and like everyone was like, what are you doing? I'm like, don't worry about it. (laughs) And then like you already laid down. You you had like a little bakery moment with Edwin too. Yeah, Edwin was gonna sleep on there. Yeah. Yeah. And then um. You went to bed, and then you like you started like. So all right, so I'm just gonna tell the story now. Are you okay with it? Yeah, I don't give a shit. Okay. I've talked about <clears throat> fucking night terrors and shit before on this podcast. Yeah, I didn't know if you want me to talk about this one. Maybe you're not. Anyway, I sleep work all the fucking time. Who gives a shit? Okay. We always cut right. it if it decides. Oh yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah He's the, the editor. It, so. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Fuck it. There you go. Um. So like, at some point, like Jacob, like looked like he was like trying to get up. But maybe it was just because he realized that I was trying to help him get on his side. So he's like, you kind of turned. I was like, okay, that's good enough, I guess. And then Edward and I kept on talking. And then at some point, like, you got a same same a uh, Kyokun three's older brother came out of the bathroom. And I'm like, I was like, oh, okay, does he want to go? Maybe he wants to go to the bathroom. He like walks past the bathroom. I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. It's gonna follow you a bit. And then like he he like stopped. Like you, like you walked around the corner, which is like uh, the entrance to the house and the dining room, and you stopped at the dining room like hallway, which is also like the entrance to the garage and kitchen area. You stopped right there. I was like, "What's he doing?" Like I kind of like turn my head to like look at your face. You're like, "You're still sleeping." I'm like, "Okay, he's probably sleepwalking. He's told this is before." I'm not freaking out. Look at him. I'm like, "Hey, get Edwin real quick." But he didn't understand what I said because I wasn't like talking loud enough because I didn't <laughs> want to wake people up. Yeah, I low-key feel like the worst for him because he looked like he actually kind of freaked out about it. Yeah. <laughs> More than, like, anyone else. So, like, and then he started walking again. I was like, oh, shit, okay. Hey, like, but you're about to walk again. straight. Yeah, you're, you're learning to walk again. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> um. God. And then, like, you're, like, you're about to walk into the, like, the counter. And I was like, nope, turn. So you turned. But then he, like, started, like doing like i don't know like big feet um <laughs> i don't know how to explain it it was like it was like he was like a big ass giant like taking big ass giant like steps and i was like all right man chill hang on hang on <laughs> you're like bucket walk you're about to walk into like back door um slidey door and it has to like grab you and pull you back and it's like you stopped and then like i actually hurt myself sleepwalking so <laughs> yeah so i was like i'm trying to prevent that <laughs> from you damaging the house and yourself <laughs> Someone like, okay, stopped. All right, turn around, hang on, Jacob. Can you hear me? Ed- Edwin just staring at me. I'm like, and then I look at Edwin. I'm like, Edwin. <laughs> he finally gets up. He like comes over. I was just like, what? Huh? <laughs> yeah. <you're... laughs> What's was going like... on? But then, like, I can't remember if it was either when I grabbed, like, it was my fault as well. I was like, I'm like holding you a bit. But you started talking in like riddles. Which, <laughs> like, That's it didn't hilarious. sound like it didn't sound like it didn't sound like English or Spanish. And at some point, like in my head, I was like, "Oh wait, maybe he's talking in his native tongue, or like Native American like language or whatever." So oh, I was like, God. and I was like, "Jacob, you're okay. Jacob, you're okay." And he started kind of freaking out of it. I'm like, right, "You're kind of getting me now. Hang on, Jacob." <laughs> and you finally woke up. You're like, "The fuck is going-? like you? You're I guess you finally like." Woke up out of the trance and like, you just dropped all your weight on me. I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, it's almost as if the last thing I remember, I was sleeping and not I did it. I would like had my body completely at rest. So when I woke yeah. up, that's the first thing my body wanted to go back to doing. <clears throat> so I was like, all right, man, you're okay. And then you're like, what? 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 Like, what the fuck happened? I'm like, sleepwalking. It's like, what? Really? Like, both uh, <laughs> my ex and my uh, brother can attest that, like, when I do that sleepwalking, like, I will completely be able to have weird conversations. 
and like my grandma said that like I've like she spotted me before like when she gets up to go to the bathroom it's like two and I'm just kind of like creepily standing in the hallway and she'll be like so and then and then we've had conversations in Spanish even though I can't like fluently speak Spanish that's fucking weird like <laughs> yeah you're like you're pulling a fucking Lucy and you're unlocking like the quarters of your brain <laughs> <laughs> Like, it, it, it's pretty trippy, actually. Yeah. So, like... I didn't know... <laughs> Jacob, what did, I mean, Edwin, what did you think was going on? I mean, I, I realized he was sleepwalking. At first, I was just like, is he trying to get, like, a snack? Or is something going on? Is, was, did he have Sarky to lead him somewhere? Or, like, what the fuck was happening? <laughs> and then, you know, and that's when I started hearing him say shit, and I was like, Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. It's only happened once where I woke up, like, from it, like, in the front yard. And that was only because... This is some con bit, like... <laughs> yeah, it, it, the only reason I woke up is because it was fucking, like, super cold. I was, like, 20 degrees outside. So, like, just the coldness of the air woke me up because I'm in my jammy jams, which is usually just, like, basketball shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> So it's like 20 degrees, and I'm just like, oh shit, I'm fucking cold. Why am I in the front yard? Dang. At, at, <laughs> at this point, I feel like it might actually just be like chemical problems in my brain. As to why I have fucking nightmares, and sleepwalk, and fucking sleep paralysis all the fucking time. Maybe, yeah. <clears throat> and I'm kind of used to it, because I've just kind of had it forever, so you know, whatever. You're not a good thing. Yeah, I've it's just not a good or bad. Adjusted thing. Yeah. to it. I'm happy I'm not as bad as like other people I've read about, where it's like I learn that I don't have it as often when I have like a TV on, just like scrambled. Ooh, that's it was that's like a thing. Scary. Like he just like yeah, I just had to go to sleep with static on the TV. And that's then, like, like creepy. And dude. then like it would come back after like living like that for a little bit, and then he would just has like it like it shows like his house. And like his bedroom just is like lined walls of TVs that just have static, so he can go to sleep and not have night terrors. And I'm like, man, like it's it sucks, and but like I would never do that. That's pretty. It's not. Like fucking shadow people and the Hat Man fucking are trippy, but uh, like they're not that bad. Hat Man in Xavier's house is literally fucking annoying. Every time I like walk past. I thought it was a person, like, <laughs> yeah. every time I went by the kitchen, I'd be like, <laughs> and then I'd, like, look over there. So, you know when you uh, walk into Xavier's oh, no. garage from the kitchen? Right. And you look to the right to look at the front door as you do that? The left? There's the hat rack? Left, yeah. Like a hat threat right. rack. No, no, you walk from the gr the kitchen into the garage. Oh, okay, then yeah, the right. So, you would look to your right, and you see, like, the hat rack with, like, right. a coat on it? Right. And every single time, I just flinch because I feel like it was somebody for, like, one second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever said know. anything because I was sure you guys would make fun of me. So both it happened to Kelsey and Zarky, so now I'm brave. Oh my god! No, I mean, it's always happened every time I go to over to yeah, house. I'm every like, time. It's like I go, for, like I already like get, I get in a like punchy stance real quick, like that split second, and I'm like, never mind. <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck is in Zayv's house? Who's up besides me right now? <laughs> God. That's like that person part... gets me every time at night, man. Oh, like that person it, like, is scared. some unknown ghost story I never heard about. Like, I could have sworn it was a ghost story that it sounds. Yeah, yeah the fucking ghost hasn't any... left Xavier's house at all. <laughs> My fight or flight response is always fucking fight. Which is, like, the main reason you shouldn't wake me up when I sleepwalk. Because <laughs> it's happened before where, like, I'll hear, like, a weird-ass noise from downstairs. And it's probably just, like, a cat or some shit. And you're already ready to go down. And then I'm just like, well, let me go get my fucking knife. And then I go downstairs with my knife. And then it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, and there's like, I see a cat in my backyard, and I have a knife, and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Being prepared is what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. I'm that guy in the horror movie who's like sees Jason and is like, come at me, bitch! <laughs> and then I get my ass kicked, but still. You try. Good job, I try. Man. I mean, lately I've been walking around with my knife more often, so... I was slowly getting in that mentality with like knife. <laughs> it's even happened before where like I'll go downstairs and get a cup of water and then like it's really windy outside so I hear like boards move in my backyard mm -hmm. and I just like put up my dukes like who there? <laughs> who there? 
<laughs> and like, that, that's not even a lie. I've done that shit before. <laughs> Where, like I hear a noise in my backyard, and I'm like, "What the fuck was that?" And I have it in my head, like, if I don't investigate, I'm gonna get robbed. <laughs> like the one time I don't investigate is like the time it's gonna fucking happen. So I was like, "Fuck!" So I open my back window, I go out there, and I just have like my fists, and I just look around, and I'm just like. Mm. And then I fucking lock everything up again. And then after that, I'm just like, how fucking stupid am I? Why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's my first response is just like, go fucking punch it in the face. Yeah, fucking beat his ass. It's like that one me... movie. Where it's like, man, if I see a ghost, I'm gonna punch it in the face. <laughs> I mean, have you seen that one yet? For like... There's two dudes at the. They're basically doing that um the light uh the light monster thing where like you turn off the lights, it's right there. Then turn them on, then turn them off again. It's getting slowly getting closer or whatever. There's like a gif of like there's two dudes who are doing that, <laughs> and then like the ghost gets or like whatever it was is like right there at the face. <laughs> they punch it. And they run out. <laughs> I was like, that's my fight. That's like my fight or fight instincts. It's like I want to punch it first, then fucking get away. Fight then flight. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> it's one or the other. <laughs> but like, actually, <laughs> my fucking mom like did something weird. That's me too. Uh, one of these, uh, like a week or two ago, where it was the middle of the night. Like I got up from like sleeping, go over, open my door, and I hear like, cause like my floor creaks kind of. It's just like the paper or like I don't know what it's called. It. <clears throat> it's not like uh, wood or anything on my floor, so I just hear that. I'm like, eh, it's probably whatever. And then like, do my uh, dick piss, get out, and then my mom's like, walking over to the kitchen. But like in my head, I'm like, if I ignore it, it's not gonna be there. <laughs> so like, I kind of like fast walk into my room, <laughs> close the door. I'm like, all right, I'm good. Where's my knife? Hang on. <laughs> But uh, it's not great. <laughs> I sometimes see shadow people in my own house. I'm like, damn. No, right, hard enough, damn. it's gonna go away. Just body and it'll go away. Dude. No, I mean like, all right. So like, Albert has um, Albert being my brother, um, has also like heard some weird shit mm -hmm. where it was like he was sleeping uh, in his. Dang, dude! I'm so ready bed, to like, spend the night at your house and have sleep paralysis. Uh, <laughs> it's not great, especially since I have my um. I have like my closet as mirrors, as you know. So yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I think that freaks all of you guys out. <laughs> I asked uh, Abe I about know. it. I do. I don't have any issues in there. Oh, okay. I, I asked Abe about mirrors. it one day. <laughs> no, I asked Abe. I was like, Hey, did you find that weird? He's like, Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little weird seeing myself sleeping. <laughs> I was like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, So like from that, I just like took it for like maybe all of you guys find that weird. <laughs> Well, I used Anyways. to have the closet doors like that next to my bed before I moved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you know, you know uh, how I talked about like that one dude out of those TVs to prevent sleep paralysis? My own little dude? ritual of that, how I just talked about the dude who had like a bunch of TVs in his room. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, my own little thing for that is I don't sleep in a room with the closet door open because that oh. they always <laughs> fucking come out of the closet. And I always sleep uh, with my face facing toward the hallway, like toward the open door. My back has to be to a wall. Wait, why though? Because they'll come from behind me. That's and that's true. and that's basically what I did to Jacob. So, so I, came I, from I have them. to fucking minimize the number of fucking ways that they can approach me, dude. It, it's scary because my room is literally at the end of a hallway, so I I always see them like coming up the fucking stairs and down the hallway. But it's like that's way better than them just like being right there next to me for the instant that shit starts. That bitch in the air vents. <laughs> that damn 1080 in the air vents. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I talked about that on the podcast. 1080, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay, so there's this weird thing that happens with everyone who has sleep paralysis in which most people who have it 
at some point we'll see like a shadow person which is literally just like picture like a sentient sil- silhouette that walks around and looks at you I mean it doesn't have any like eyes but you can tell it's looking at you shut the fuck up or whatever yeah <clears throat> and like everyone who's like sees that eventually has also seen what people call the hat man which is one of those moving silhouettes of like living darkness that has like a kind of like a wide brim hat sometimes it's like a like a fedora sometimes it's like a cowboy hat according to some people for me it's always been like the like night like the 1920s like bowler hat kind of hmm. for me it's like a kind of a fedora ish yeah ish ish anyway they're just like a, a silhouette and he's kind of like the boss ghost as like dumb as that is to say he's like like he he seems like the one that's running the fucking show just by like the aura he gives off by his presence and this is something that everyone who has pretty much everyone I shouldn't say everyone because I don't know if it's everyone but just about everyone who has sleep paralysis regularly eventually see this motherfucker and Not science yet, I mean... is just like I don't fucking know <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we all, we, like, uh, 200 people will say they see the exact same thing. Fucking worldwide, thousands of people who have this issue. <laughs> like, I don't fucking know. Like, it's super weird. <laughs> <coughs> I'm just asking to see, you know, if you've ever seen some type of Shadow Hat Man. Mm, no, it's only at Xavier's, but that's only because of the hat rack where I'm like, no. but, psh, ah, never mind. But, oh yeah, go back to, like, Albert's first thing real quick. Yeah. Like, he said he woke up one day, uh, or, like, one in the middle of the night, he was all, like, he heard, like, people talking in Spanish and going, yes, está despertando, vámonos, which translate to, oh, he's waking up, let's go. And he was like, what the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> and, I mean, I was, I was, like, we both tried, like, trying to figure it out, like, debunk it or whatever, we're like, our, our beds are pretty close to the window, which is also pretty close to the, like, road in the community that we live in. So it's like, maybe people were talking outside, just like, peering in? I don't know. <laughs> That's fucking weird. It's so weird. Yeah. Yeah, no, just, I was hearing that shit too, and I was like, what? And I was like, well, you know what? At my doorway, sometimes, like, I freak out uh, by looking at my doorway because it's pretty fucking dark in that corner. So I'm like, someone's because like sometimes you hear like stuff like creaking, and um, I've like kind of debunked it as my it's my uh, computer just like after you turn it off like it'll like do like that weird little creaky noise thing. I don't know how to explain that, but um. Shoutouts to my shitty IKEA furniture in my room that creaks and cracks in the night because it's shitty <laughs> IKEA furniture. <laughs> right. I don't think, um, I think the desk is, but not my, uh, bookshelves. Anyways, it gets dark enough right there in the corner where I'm like, when I wake up, I'm just like trying to get out of the days of being dreaming and like switching, you know, switching gears or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I always like see something there. I'm like, fuck. And then I hear like stuff creaking. I'm like, uh, I'm just gonna sit here, take two minutes, stare there. See if I see anything moving. All right, I don't see anything moving. Get up. I'm gonna take my take this. Then I go back to bed. But yeah, that's not, that's like that's like the most I've had or like sleep paralysis paralysis ish type thing I've had. So I don't know if it's either progressing or not. So I hope it's not. <laughs> I'm always like low key anxious to talk about it because talking about it is like a trigger. Yeah, I figured. I mean, it's I also like... know that like the more you study it and like think about it and spend time talking about it and like hearing about it the more likely it is to happen to you so I never really want to talk about it with you guys just to like keep you guys safe <laughs> like if fucking tomorrow Edwin's like you bitch you infected me with this how could you I would feel so bad like legit you were my friend I would feel so terrible you were my friend don't think it don't, don't think say it. it don't say it <laughs> I mean, that's me with, like, um, whenever we watch horror things or, like, just, uh, just, you know, ghost paranormal shit in general where it's, like, I know it's fake, but in my back of my mind, it's, like, hey, remember that one thing as you're falling asleep? Yeah, just remember that shit real quick. Oh, you hear a noise? It's probably that one shit. I'm, like, fuck you, brain. <laughs> Do you guys believe in ghosts? Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm, like, on a hard 
already know, but there's some shit that I hear. I'm like, all right, just gonna ignore that real quick. I'm just gonna go on about my day here. Mm -hmm. Just gonna pull out my M16 right now. <laughs> Stare at the corner real quick, see if any moves. It's probably the work of a stand. <laughs> Enemy stands are all ghosts. <laughs> yeah. What about you guys? Either you guys believe in ghosts? Mm. I don't know. Not really. I get <laughs> creeped out though. I just get creeped out. Like, I don't know. What about Xavier's ghost thing? Weren't you there for that? Oh, shit? that's true. I guess. I'm more like. I guess. That shit was being actually great. fucking fucked up, yeah. kind of. We don't talk about it because he's afraid that it might come back. <laughs> always come back. I was all right. So Xavier isn't here, so he can't hear it, or his house can't hear it. But yeah. we do all have some sort of spiritual connection. Ha ha ha! But oh, dude, I saw that Zach Bagan video that you posted the other day. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Yeah, I want to see the fucking hipster ghost where it's eating a fucking avocado toast. Yeah, or he's some eating a phantom avocado, avocado toast. toast. <laughs> like yeah, like I want to see some of those ghosts. Yeah, we just gotta we just gotta wait like 50 more years. <laughs> Want to get confirmation of a uh, hipster ghost? Want to see the ghosts of all the crazy ass white people who tried to live in Florida in like the 1600s, and were like, "We died from malaria." Same. <laughs> like, Fuck. all the people who died like on the way to California because of dysentery, and they're just ghosts that are just constantly shitting themselves. And <laughs> they're just like. So, how's this entire for everyone? They're like, you don't have that anymore here. Pretty Where's shitty. Ah, <laughs> oh, take a shut up. <laughs> Come on, that was a decent one. I mean, I don't think anyone's heard it, so. Well, Edward uh, did, and that's what matters. I did. Shut, shut up. Fuck you. Fuck you too, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Hang on. Oh, I'm sorry. So how's everyone doing on that mobile game? On that Ruby mobile game? Oh yeah, we got Ruby Thank mobile you. game. I got Biker Yang. I didn't play the game yet, so... I have Ice Weiss, which is just like a Weiss that can it's do just, damage. It's just regular Weiss. <laughs> yeah. I feel like... <laughs> yeah. It's not yeah. bad. I, I was, ex I was just like kind of expecting it to be like... Doo -doo stank. And Dude, I was not. beating ass. It plays almost exactly like this game on Steam called Minion Masters. Do you oh. know what that is? Sounds like a free game. No, that's like five bucks. It's basically like a card game that plays exactly like this. Except instead of being vertical, it's horizontal. Uh, that's one thing I kind of want from it. I want it to be vert uh, horizontal, not vertical. <laughs> hey, try Minion Masters. Hey, no. It's five bucks. <laughs> it's worth it. I want it's free. <laughs> Wait, yeah. well, I have something to contribute to that, though. Yeah. She's got stuff. She's got stuff. Yeah. So I think I talked about in this like old podcast, but like I hear this whistling in my house, like someone who couldn't fucking whistle, and like I, it sounds like someone is like whistling, whistling in my house. So like before I'd ask everyone, because I whistle to call my cats, but this is like not wind. This sends like someone who like is trying to whistle but can't whistle. So it's something like, this, like... like it's like it's like it's like it's like, but it's like actually whistling for a second, and then it will like fade out. Yeah. And then I like asked everyone. I was like, "Who the fuck is whistling at like three in the morning?" <laughs> yeah, I'm about to beat oh. some ass. <laughs> Give me some answers. It's, like, it's like right outside my room. And then I was like, "It was like fine. It was like over with." I was like, "Oh, it stopped happening. Cool." And it doesn't happen in like. And then it started happening again. But now it's like in my room. I hear it. It's not out in the hallway anymore. It's like in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. It's not even when I'm laying down. I'll hear it when I have headphones on. And I always hear it from, like, the back, like, from, like, right where my chair is. Huh. So if I'm laying down, I hear it, like, next to me. But if I'm sitting in my chair, I hear it, like, right, right behind me. I'm like, I fucking hate this. It's always at, like, 12 to, like, 3. And I'm like, spooky shit. That fucker's taking a break for, like, a few days, though. So I'm here for <laughs> a few days. He's like, I'm getting real sick of whistling, dude. It's his day <laughs> off. It's his of days off, off, so he's just like chilling. For Thanksgiving. Yeah, dude, you Thanksgiving <laughs> <off>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he had to go. 
You had to go kill some like uh, ghost Indians or whatever. <laughs> and this reminds me of something else. Like the first time I ever had like a hallucination, like ever in my whole life, it was like the worst in my entire life. Because um, apparently I'm one of those fuckers that hallucinate bugs, okay. which is like the worst, dude. Sounds like the best, right? It's literally the worst. Cause, <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, it's not because I was doing drugs, so. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's because of Secrets my anxiety medicine. I actually we... took two dosages because I forgot that I took it already. We know, <laughs> we know how you like to smoke the dankest of weeds, Kelsey. Just yeah, like chugging down a whole like love marijuana, troll dude. penis. Of oh. the fuck? Whoa. Uh. I don't like that now. Because it gets you stoned. <sighs> Alright. Someone's holding back a laugh. That's Kelsey. Kelsey doesn't count. Yes! You guys can't be mad because it made someone laugh. You can't mute yourself. It's cheating. Oh my god. She just typed in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, of course. I was in the middle of drinking, and that's why I started laughing. Yes. <laughs> it's so Fuck dumb. Damn. Stupid, dude. It's super dumb. <laughs> it's like the stupidest shit I ever started in my Sorry. own life. Go on. But yeah, it's like the worst because um, not only did I feel like I was like exiting my own body like constantly. But every time I would like sit down and be like, hmm, I'm gonna focus on something, I would see like a mosquito in my peripheral that kept like trying to dart in my eyeball. And I was like, I don't like mosquitoes. I don't like flying bugs. <laughs> and I was like, you get that shit away from me. And then if I looked long enough, it would like, there'd be like clusters around of other flying bugs. And I'd be like, I don't like that. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember actually crying. I was like, one of my arms around, I'm like, why would this fucking mosquito leave me alone? There's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's like, are you okay? And I'm like, no. This mosquitoes. <laughs> Damn. The mosquitoes just fucking with me, man. That's why I'll never do mushrooms ever. And also it's illegal. But... but mostly the other one, right? Mostly the other one. Mostly the other one. It's illegal, I guess. Whatever. I guess. I mean, <laughs> why not? But... I mean, if it's there on the table, I guess I'll take them. <laughs> are, mush are they literally just mushrooms? Yeah, they're just literally mushrooms. Just psychedelic, psychedelic Is drugs. there like a specific one that... Yes. You? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you can't just take any fucking yeah, mushroom off the fucking say, forest. It, like, that wouldn't really work, <laughs> would it? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's about to go wander into the fucking Los Angeles forest and look for a mushroom. Yeah, I'm gonna walk like eight hours to go find like a shitty mushroom that won't do anything. It just get you poisoned, then sick, and then die. He's just gonna go to Safeway and like buy a mushroom pack and be like, I'm about to get so fucked up just right now. Just buy some shitty <laughs> mushrooms and just eat them raw. Man, nothing's nah, happening. I... <laughs> Dude, well, good. But I'm having a weird pain in my stomach. wonder what that is. I'm trying to vomit up black ooze. It's probably. I don't feel so good, guys. I don't know why this happened, but me and... at the time, me and my brother were, were sharing a room. Then, <clears throat> I guess it was late at night. I'm pretty sure we finished playing a game or something or whatever. And I ended up going to sleep. Uh, he ended up sleeping later because I think he came back from work or some shit. And I woke up in the or I couldn't sleep. And I woke up. And I was just like, I guess I'll just, you know, stay awake. I'll eventually just let myself fall asleep eventually. So I was looking around in the room. It's all super dark, whatever. I'm just looking around. Everything still looks, you know, essentially familiar. And I look over to my side, and I I see something. I don't know what yet. At the time, I see it, and I'm like, like what the fuck is that? So I start looking around more, and I look up, and then I see, like, a bunch of, like, shadows of rats, like sitting on top of my computer on the computer hey. desk we have the computer all right desk. so when you say racks do you mean the rats. Rats? Rats. rats rats oh rats uh okay that works too yeah rats i just see a bunch of shadows of rats i'm like what the fuck like do we have like mice or rats what the fuck do we have in here and i'm like panicking and i, I look down again like because uh, i'm sleeping on the edge of the bed and I was, like, so, like down on the floor and i see like this prickly thing on the floor and i start freaking out like is that a fucking giant ass like worm caterpillar thing like what, what the fuck is that 
So I called my brother and I'm like, dude, like, do you see this shit? And then I, I guess I, you know, he was looking at it around. He's like, like, what the fuck? Like, why are there so many rats around here? And we're both freaking out. Like, what the fuck is this? It's not scary <laughs> when someone else sees it too, and you're like, what the? Yeah. Fuck? So it was fucking weird. So like, we started panicking for like a few minutes, and I'm and I'm like, like shit. Like, I, I gotta like, I gotta turn on the lights, dude. I'm freaking out. So like, immediately like, just t- take off my blankets. I just jump up and run to the fucking opposite side of the room quickly as I can. I just turn on the lights. And the moment I turn it on, everything disappears. Except for the prickly thing. The prickly thing, I actually saw what it finally was. It was this, was this was around Christmas time. And my mom was fitting out the tree. But she forgot a piece of the tree. And that piece was that prickly thing that I saw <laughs> earlier. And I was like, oh my god, thank god. I, I was fucking freaking out, man. <laughs> and like, I turned on the lights and everything. It wasn't even like shadow, like, like silhouettes of stuff that made it look like it was rats. It was just like actually flat when I turned on the lights. And me and my brother, like, I told him, like, like, you saw that, right? It wasn't just me. And he's like, yeah, there was, like, something there. There was fucking rats or mouse just sitting there walking around or something. Did you guys look <laughs> around the room for, like, a Yeah, yeah, we, we were looking okay. around and shit. We were just, like, eventually we were just, like, whatever. Just go back to sleep, I guess. And somehow you're able to just go to sleep. And then, like, it never happened again. But, like, I bring it up every now and then. He's like, yeah, that, that was fucking weird. I don't know what the heck was happening then. Maybe there was fucking, maybe there was rats, dude. Nah, it wasn't. Chilling. We would have heard something, but it was this was like years ago, like years, years ago, middle school. <laughs> it, was yeah. really, it was interesting. I was, I just it was like that's the first time I've ever seen like something that wasn't actually there. It's pretty trippy. <laughs> <clears throat> was, like fucking random as fuck, man. I'm like, the hell is this shit, dude? I ain't trying to go out like this, man. Come on. <laughs> I have a pretty decent one <clears throat> that's also like a shared thing that we all saw and it happened when I was like like eight-ish uh, it was still in the house that I'm in now but uh, it was back when my sister still lived with us and uh, we had some cousins over because it was a little bit like before Christmas it was like early December and we were playing we had spent like the evening playing uh, hide and seek in the dark because it was like rainy so it would have been like me my brother my sister and then like three or four of our cousins and we were all just playing hide and seek in the dark in my house so you know that's a pretty that's a pretty fun time yeah especially because it's fucking pitch black (laughs) and uh we, we did that for a little bit and then like we went to bed like around 11 and then uh i had uh we had all gone to sleep in like our main living room it, we used to have carpet it's tiled now but uh for you guys you know where like the big tv is in my room or not my room in the living room yeah yeah that used to all be carpet right so we were all asleep in there like that kind of like bigger i guess atrium i don't know what to call it Hey, we were all sleeping in there. And then, uh, <clears throat> as we were, as I was sleeping, like, you know, I was fading in and out. And, uh, my sister and my brother knew that I had nightmares still, because it's, it's just always been a thing, <laughs> like, quite literally. So it was one of those things where, like, I kind of, like, stirred myself up. I don't remember what the, even, like, the dream was, but, like, I had scared myself. Mm-hmm. And, uh, my sister had, like, kind of, like, she was sleeping relatively close to me on the floor. So she, like, felt me woke, wake up and was like, hey, dude, it's cool. And, like, as she was calming me down, we were just, like, laying on the ground. And, uh, we kind of, like, shifted so that we were both, like, on our back. And I was, like, in her armpit so I can, like, relax. And as we were, like, laying there, like, uh, and we both saw it, which is makes it kind of crazy is that we saw like it's kind of weird to explain because it has such like a really definite thing that we would call it even though it's not that like my sister and my grandma we both they both called it the Yorona Yorona mm-hmm. so you saw the lady in white dress yeah it was this white lady that in like a really white dress and that's like a lore yeah and she just like floated in from like the like front window 
and like me already kind of being a lot more used to this than my sister was just like oh that's weird but my sister was like what the fuck <laughs> and she started freaking out so bad that she just kind of froze <clears throat> and this lady like we knew like we we could both see her because we talked about it like in that morning but we both definitely saw her and like she had like floated in the room and she looked around and she it, it just looked like she was lost where she just kind of looked mm-hmm. around for a little bit and she was like floating above all of us and then like she just kind of kept going so she float floated over like the entirety of like all of like our like everyone who was there me as a ghost who thinks people can't see me and it was like <laughs> <laughs> and it was like super trippy because like my sister was like straight up like she felt like her feet touched like her hand like from like how she was like resting and it was like really weird and then she just kind of like went through our back window and then just like we didn't see her for a little bit and then she came back also st- still looking really lost and then she left the way she came she was cool. like oh fuck there's no snacks that way dude. <laughs> yeah, and then she just went around. <laughs> like, I can't drown any of these kids <laughs> are they too old dude yeah. can't drown them and then she just fucking left. And then, uh, like, not wanting to freak me out, my sister, because she knew I had just had a nightmare, and, uh, just kind of, like, trying to l- roll, like, lay that shit out and just, like, wait it out. And eventually fell back asleep. And then, like, in the morning, uh, both my brother and one of my cousins was, like, I had this weird dream that this fucking, like, white-haired, white gown bitch, like, floated through the fucking living room. <laughs> and then my sister and I were like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that's, that's a pretty trippy story, I think. <laughs> Do you ever see that one video where it's like, in, it's from a CCTV, like, camera or whatever, like, of the office getting, like, totally destroyed by, like, some poltergeist bitch? Like the office getting nice it's completely like, getting fucked. Like every single room, like it's like ten door handles rattling at once in a hallway, and it's like throw chairs across, and like but they're like fuck these papers. <laughs> like <laughs> you're gonna have to link I'll that because that sounds hilarious. Yeah, I'll try to see if I can find it. Uh, how much time do we have left? Fuck uh, you guys, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> then I have like, a pretty decent right one that happened like a month ago. You know, I, I, this won't sound weird, but it's just like, and just because you guys would immediately say no, it's like, I just want us to experience something weird like that all together. So that way we all have <laughs> this proof story. that we're, well, not necessarily a story, just more or less a proof of like, all right, we all saw some strange shit. That's it. <laughs> we just all saw some strange <laughs> shit. <laughs> so like a month ago now, it happened to me where, uh, I woke up and it was like 2.30ish in the morning and I was like fuck I really have to piss <laughs> and I got up you know I go stand in front of the toilet for like 5 minutes and nothing comes out cause it's one of those things and I'm just like man fuck I ain't gonna fall I ain't gonna fucking piss <clears throat> so I'm like I'll just go lay down for a little bit until like I really have to go and then I'll go cause that's my solution to that situation <laughs> and I go and I go to wash my hands and and it's it's pretty dark, you know. But I have a candle in my bathroom because I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. So it's just like lit by candlelight. And it's mm-hmm. it is pretty dim. So I'm washing my hands, and it, if to give you the light, like imagine being in a pitch black room and then you light a match. That's how fucking bright it is. It's not very bright. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I'm washing my hands, and I'm half asleep, and I'm like starting to wake up because it's kind of cold, and I look into the fucking mirror. And that stupid fucking AC unit bitch, which, which to redescribe is essentially just a really tall, lanky, naked woman with no face and really long, like, grudge hair. Hmm. <clears throat> Don't you have the hots for the grudge lady anyway? I mean, low key. High key. High key. Anyway. You can watch hey, there it is. Uh, <laughs> we can watch it later. It's just like. Yeah. Uh, She's, like, standing right, like, to my side. Like, I can see her reflection. Like, literally, like, not even an inch away from me. Like, she's about to touch me. And she's doing, like, that weird thing where they have, like, your their arms around my shoulders. But she's, like, just not touching me. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm like, what the fuck? And I turn and I don't see anything, right? And oh, like, does, yeah. it does the movie thing where it's like, it's not there the first time and bam back in, and it's going to be there. And then I was like, well, that's fucking trippy. And then I finished washing my hands and I dry my hands. And then when I turned to leave, she's like literally like less than an inch away from my face. And she breathes and I can feel the coldness of her breath like move through my hair. And then like I just get these super hard chills. And I uh, blink. Bitch was trying to tell you she's interested, dude. And then I so. blink. And it's fucking morning. <laughs> what kind funny. of movie shit is that, dude? Like it's literally, That's really good. It's literally like 7 o'clock in the fucking morning. And like the sun is on my back from the fucking small window in my bathroom. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Damn, fucking Jacob got petrified till the morning. I don't know what fucking happened. I don't know like to call that sleep paralysis or not, but like... That shit was wacky, dude. That's, that was trippy. Like, the older I get, it's starting to happen more where, like, I'm a lot more lucid during my sleep paralysis. Does that help or no? I have no idea. It just makes it really hard to tell when it's actually happening because I'm not being paralyzed anymore. Well, I feel like that's good, though, because I feel like a lot of, like, but the bad shit about sleep paralysis but is it's the not paralysis. Consistent. Part. And it's just like okay. really trippy and hard to deal with. <laughs> Cause the other time that that ha something like this happened was uh, I had been um, seeing like shadow people in my sleep paralysis, which I have gotten to the point now where like that doesn't super disturb me. It's just like eerie, and I can just kind of tank it out. And I had been dealing with that, and then like I had closed my eyes, and like I was like, cool, it's kind of like stopping now. <clears throat> so like I got up to use the bathroom I washed my hands you know doing doing my biz and then I come back and I lay back down and like as soon as I like turn to look out my fucking bedroom hallway I see the fucking hat man right but like my first reaction is like normally to be like am I having sleep paralysis because I just lay down and usually it takes a minute so like I stand back up and I see this motherfucker still there and I'm like, what the hell? And then, like, he goes downstairs. And I'm like, oh, that must be, like, my dad or something. I better go see if he needs help or anything or if he heard something. <laughs> because, like, that, that has yeah. to be, that's, like, the first connection um, in my brain. Like, that, like it couldn't be real, right? So I fucking uh. go downstairs. And, like, I walk around for a little bit. And I, I'm like, where the fuck did my dad go? And then, like, I don't see him or find him anywhere. And I'm just like, man, it's fucking late. I'm tired. And I sit down at the bottom of my stairs because, like, you get like that sleepiness so like you're kind of like woozy and I didn't want to fucking eat shit when I was going up the stairs I was, like, I'll just sit down for a second so I can kind of like reorient myself and as I'm fucking like sitting there this fucking hat, shadow fucking hat man fucking is just like yo what's up and just sits down like right beside me and it's just like this fucking shadow like an inch away from me just sitting looking at me and I'm just like what the fuck is happening and he doesn't the fucking like fedora like uh fedora sip yeah, the fucking, like, the tilt thing, like, with his hat, and then just fucking gets yeah. up and opens my door and fucking walks out. <laughs> and I'm just oh, like, damn. what the fuck? And That's I go some lucid-ass dreaming, dude. And then I fucking, like, it's still locked. And I'm just like, what the fuck just happened? Dude, he, he's been courteous enough to, like, lock the door as he went out. Yeah, dude, he did the he's fucking like, fedora hat tilt at me and then fucking yeah. walked out. What a guy. And then I was like, what the fuck just happened? And, like... For the next, like, two months, I just never saw the fucking shadow people again. He's like, dude, I see you're stressed out, so I'm gonna give you a break. <laughs> yeah, me and my boys are gonna leave you alone so we can fuck with you later. <laughs> what a guy. Like, fucking lucid fucking sleep paralysis sucks, dude. Like, That's wrong. What is wrong with you, Jacob? I don't know. Like I said, <laughs> I think I might have a chemical issue with my brain. Jacob, I wanna help you, but at the same time, it's hard to help you. I try Why to do lock shit. your door, dude? My parents are just like... <laughs> yeah, it locks the door from the outside. <laughs> My parents yeah, are just built. like, did you bless yourself before you went to sleep? And it's like, cool, thanks. <laughs> That's exactly what I needed. That's, <laughs> That's really shit, what I needed dude. right now. That's like when you're like, I'm depressed. And like, have you tried being happy? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, because... Um, y you're like... Hey guys, thanks for listening to this spooky podcast. If you liked our content, um, 
just check out our Twitter. It's in the description. And no, check you out don't our want to. <laughs> I'm not saying Patreon again. <laughs> <laughs> like you said it, you wanted to. <laughs> Yeah. All right then.